Hello, my babies. I hope that all is well with you guys. All praises to the Most High for this opportunity. Thank you, Spirit Team, for using me as the middleman to give the messages to the collective. I pray that this message reach everyone it is intended to. I pray that you guys and everything that is attached to you is feeling loved. Everyone is protected and everything is protected as well as provided for. May every need that you have be provided for. May you have the strength to endure any and everything that you face throughout your life. Okay, peace, love, and blessings. All right. This, wow, you're on the right path. Keep doing what you're doing because it's working. So something that you're doing is working here. You're on the right path, honey. Yes, listen, baby, learning that all your problems resolve themselves. Giving birth to the question and let it go and then allow the answers to flow. Okay, so if you've been wanting to know if you're on the right track, if you're on the right path, if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, this is your confirmation within one minute. You are on the right track. Okay, so you're just going to get extra clarity from anything else that I say. But someone is like questioning if they're on the right path. Or if this is you guys that know that you're on the right path, you're on the right side of the energy, you understand, you know, the law and how it all works, then I feel like, you know, it's just smooth sailing from there. Literally. Okay, so learning. Matter of fact, I just heard as long as you listen, bro. Somebody like I'm not the only I'm not the only person that got this connection with spirit. Okay, so my messages is not for me. <laughs> okay, someone here, here at too blessed to be pressed. You, you, like, I just, this is like, I can really end the message here. Whatever your problems are, do not focus on the problems. And you will, like, literally see, like, do not get stressed. Do not get overwhelmed. Do not overthink it, overdo it, or any of that, okay? From a stroke survivor, please. I, this is like literally everything. It's not just me getting on here, just doing some shit. Like everything has a fucking meaning behind it. Okay. So you're understanding me. So keep up the good work. Yes, look at that. And I just did that unintentionally. Every emotion I feel is guidance from my adoring inner being. Desire is the beginning of all creation. So again, whatever this is that you're putting the law of attraction, that's what you're attracting back in here. Okay, somebody is using music to manifest and it is helping you. Okay, someone is chanting, humming, singing, or playing music. Just the frequencies. You see how the frequencies, it's in a motion, it's in a pattern. It's like you're in motion. You're, you're vibrating on the frequency that you're supposed to be on. Okay. Yes, look. Okay, now I look over here. And this says grateful for divine timing. So yes, literally everything is going to work out for you. No matter what this is. You heal with your kind words, wise advice, and empathetic ear. Counseling. Okay? You guys could be talking to someone. This could have been, you know, you. Like I said, you're wanting to know if you're on the right path, and they're telling you, yes, you are. They're literally here looking at you eye to eye, 
Yes, my love, you are on the right path. I can always reach for a thought that feels better. So someone is literally learning, like I said, learning to be on the fucking vibration. And I've been saying it. And I also know that I've struggled with that myself. But as I have gotten on that frequency, then it's like, man, you you would not even fucking imagine this shit. Like just something recent this week is like, man, damn, I did that. And I ain't even finished it. It just, it just gotta be set in stone. Like I, I just heard it is set in stone. So okay, okay. You create with your every thought. <laughs> the law of attraction is the most powerful universal law, and that is your friend. And so your understanding. You don't even have to stress. You don't even have to worry. Freedom. You're free to go in any direction that you choose because you are that fucking gifted. You choosing to be here in this glorious physical body. Like I said, your frequency. Someone could be listening to ocean waves. Something to cleanse your aura. Someone has also been praying here. Yeah, see, to feel better is the root of every desire. Period. That's all it takes is that one little desire, that one hope and pray. Okay, yeah, see, faith. That was what's at the top. Your prayers are manifesting. Remain positive and follow your guidance. Again, you have direct connection with the universe. Okay, so let's see. This is good. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, let's see. Please clarify this message or give us give us a word, spirit guys. Okay, mature woman. I'm getting Ogun could be very significant. If someone's with Orishas, Ogun. Because tobacco just fell out with that. And I have a piece of this is what just fell out. So I don't know. Anyways, this mature woman, to feel better is the root for every desire. So as you're growing up and you're becoming this mature woman, you've gotten on the right path. And really understanding what life is, now you're able to free yourself. If you look at both of these, damn, and then a gift is at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so if you look in both of these, her arms are open wide. And she's near water in both of them. And I'm seeing several different races here. This is Hispanic. This is white. This girl looks black. And then, of course, she's yellow. So whatever. That could be like the mixed breed sort of thing. So um, I'm also seeing brown hair, blonde hair. That looks kind of orangish. Brunette, black, black and gray. So definitely someone that's older. Somebody definitely here has gray hairs. And you know what? That definitely, going back to what I was just saying, comes from fucking stress. I know some say it's wisdom, but either way it go, you still had to get to this point. To be able to grow, to be able to be this mature woman. All right, please give us more clarity over this message, please. 
or my collective with any precious soul that this may resonate with. I love you guys all. I haven't been telling you guys that I love you, but I love you fucking so Free from unrequited love. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit the fun to shine. Every emotion I feel is guidance from my adoring inner being. So, yeah, from your inner child. So, going to do something to have fun here. Just be a kid again. Look at that. Unexpected income. Listen, honey. Listen. Clear and accurate messages, please. Listen. Thinking on that good fortune that you want. Thinking only of fortune. How you can prosper. 2616 could be very significant. Or 616. Six, sixteen, and twenty six is here. Twenty six and twenty seven was very significant in someone's life, as well as the age of six and sixteen. Or you guys could have children. Okay, trust. This situation is called, calling for you to trust, to have faith. Once again, have faith. This is confirming. That's all it requires is faith. Clear and accurate messages, please. Clear and accurate messages. Okay, wedding. So someone is married to someone that is unrequited. Okay, this situation involves someone's marriage. That is changing. Someone could be changing homes. Someone could be leaving this home, okay? You could be married to someone that is very unfaithful and you're on the right track. A lot of us, even myself, have asked, am I supposed to do this, okay? You're on the right track. You could be making changes to your home. So, let's see. What else? What else is the collective message, please? 
healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents, or this is just healing. I feel like I'm getting more so healing the generational curses here. If you have forgiven your family issues, then you're on the right path. Or if you're working towards that, then you're on the right path here. If you're desiring to heal these generational wounds, then you're on the right path. Okay. What else does my collective need to know? Fems, y'all definitely finna get a check, baby. You could be actually thinking of a master plan to get this money, or I don't know. Okay, so we have toil and labor and romantic feelings that are in reverse and express your love. So someone is not express what? Toil and labor. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And yeah, separation. So yeah, it's like if you feel like this this marriage is toil and labor, then you need to go ahead and make that gesture. Or someone could have, someone could be expressing that this feels like a burden. Okay, so let's see what else, my loves. This main male here, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy or passion. So this male could have been cheating. Or masculines. You're being told to allow your heart and your soul to sing with joy. Be happy. Okay. Um, thank you. Look. Tried to steal the motherfucking stomach. Mm, look at that. Look at, just look at that shit. And that's the concern about this marriage that someone has retreated from. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Masculines, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. A masculine that's possibly passionate here. Okay. Main male. Divine timing is at work in your love life, masculines. Yeah. Your journey is worth waiting for. Or something passionate, something that you're passionate. I don't know what this is. Something is worth the wait, though. Divine timing is at work here. All right, loves, let's be. <clears throat> Main female is safe for you to love. This is your official person.
females, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all from your official person. Wow, I just realized that 222. Two, two. Or this is telling a masculine here that somebody is their official person. And it's safe for them to love. It's safe for them to be passionate here. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, listen, how this damn gift keeps slipping out? Work on your partnership is a gift. So someone's partnership is literally a gift from the most high. Wow, bro. Literally? Wow, bro. How the fuck? And I swear to you, I did not see that. Okay. I right, think this shit again. Thank you, girl. It's a motherfucking fake if you want to. You just seen it. I just heard it. And I just motherfucking seen it. The cards just say it. I get the messages, but I use the cards. Look, bro. Bro. <laughs> so, I get the messages. The thing is, I just use the cards so y'all won't think that I'm just on here uploading shit out of my emotions. Okay? This is the message here. This is what the fuck going on. You could be a high priestess. Someone is a Virgo here. Or you just, you know, you have that, that knowledge. You're listening to your intuition. You know, you're connected. You're on the right path. So you're connected to source. I mean, that shit just as simple as, as simple dimple is what I'm here. Okay, so. Simple simple. This page of cups represents a fair young man, one impelled to render services with whom he will be connected, a, studi a studious youth or news, a message, an application or reflection, meditation, also these things directed to business. I said meditation too. Someone is literally walking away from being stuck. Like no longer wanting to be stuck here. Yeah, see, renewing the faith. Renewing the hope. This is Virgo. This is Aquarius as well. Okay, this is someone's, the message about someone's unhappy family or imbalanced family. Yeah, see, somebody protected their motherfucking self and moved on to calmer waters. Look, that's the truth. Who is this message going to resonate with, please? Somebody that's having some conflict or that felt like they were they were fighting with someone. Yeah, somebody winning at all cost, defeating the eyes. Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, female here. This is also the psychic that went through this transformation here. So, yes, you're on the right track. 
Scorpio. Yeah, this is a message about your investment, something that you have put time into here with the Seven of Pentacles. Somebody feeling good, some good ass news here. Meaning money, business. Altercation. You could have been fighting with someone. You could have been fighting for this imbalanced family here. And then just said, fuck it. I'm going to just protect myself. You got the message and you protected yourself. You moved on to calmer waters, possibly to tap into yourself, type into your psychic abilities here. Somebody's watching your investments. They're watching your family, your retirement, your investments. You're um, watching your shit. Your money, your business. Literally, somebody saying, I don't have the time to, for this shit. I'm taking action to work towards releasing these motherfucking burdens with this lover that's in balance. It is an injustice. I can't do this. I got to get on the right track. Told you. Okay, you could be... Someone's like trying to give someone an offer here. This king of wands could be realizing the offer that they were given, the the cup that they were given, this opportunity, and they didn't have control over this. Let's get clarity on this king of wands here. This is the only fucking masculine energy that is out here in this goddamn reading okay freeing yourself from bondage king of wands aries leo sagittarius masculine someone is resting but they're like i'm getting idle time idling okay Okay, something is not what they wish for. What is this? Or their wish isn't coming true or something. To celebrate. Or for them to be having in having somebody in third party. I don't know what the fuck this is. Let me see. What is this wish not being fulfilled? A king of cups. Somebody could have been celebrating with this king of cups. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Masculine here. Somebody that you were hanging out with. Something didn't go right. So you're idling and like figuring out how to release yourself or you did. To release the pain from a lack of teamwork. So you could have been working with this Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Masculine, and it didn't work out like something. Yeah, lovers in balance, moving on, accepting shit from what it is. But somebody definitely like laying here, 
trying to figure out, like, okay, what the fuck can I do to free myself? From this icky ass feeling. Because it's not working. There's no wish fulfillment. There's no praise. There's no recognition. It's none of that shit. Cycles incomplete. Someone's feeling weak. Or this is a Leo not closing out a cycle here. What else? Yeah, somebody's fucking marriage. Oh, so there is an emperor here that is not giving an offer to the empress. They could be dealing with this queen of cups from their past. This could be a baby mother, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. This weekend. This is father, baby mama energy. We got the emperor and empress. Yes, these, look, these are the fucking official, this is who the fuck is in this marriage. So it's like you were gifted your, your gift here. And you was just like, you didn't want the shit, obviously. And that's what got somebody stuck here. And they don't realize it. Yeah, there's a Leo losing out on money. Or if someone is losing out on money, they're trying to get the strength to figure out how the fuck to move from this stuck ass position. Someone has been manipulative here. With money. Dealing with money. Stuck. Destiny. Needing to break free. Angels. Like someone literally feels like they're... I feel like this is a masculine energy here. That there... This is a masculine energy. There's a masculine energy here that feels stuck. Like they cannot give anyone an offer. They can't take action they can't like break free to go towards their destiny but you guys may be getting angelic help here or you guys are getting angelic help in order to break free and to go towards your destiny yeah and then look at that the ace of cups You could have been heartbroken, oh, stabbed in the back by a Capricorn. Or this is your bondage, the toxic traits and shit that's causing heartbreak here. Heartache and pain. You got to do your real self-reflection in order for you to be able to figure out what your bondage is if you're not dealing with a Capricorn. The way that you're losing out on money. Something that you're doing here, masculines. That's why it's fucked up. You're not able to take action. You're not able to, like, get nowhere and, like, money. I, I'm... Mm, mm, posting. Let's see. What's going on here? 333, a magical purpose. If you guys are seeing 333, then definitely tap the fuck in. Because this is for you. Okay? I just seen spiritually pro uh spiritually misery. Pros I'm sorry. Um this this is what I just seen in the cards. And that's what somebody realizing here. All because of the bondage. Not being on the right fucking track. Some I, I I swear to God, somebody like got a fucking gift and they literally was like, 
Matter of fact, my daughter just did that shit. Okay, so that just reminded me. Like, you get it, you always say that you want something, and then you get it, and then you answer like, oh, no, nah, I don't want this shit. I'm throw this shit in the fucking trash. I don't want that shit. Literally. <laughs> Look, slim chick. So somebody who's fucking with a female that's slim, the greatest of all kinds. Husband hurt me. Somebody got served some papers here. Told y'all. Somebody definitely, this is also representing court. Somebody could be getting a message pertaining to court with this marriage here. Do not sign that contract. What? Let's see, Spirit. Please give us clear and accurate messages. Okay? When your feelings do not feel all that good, all that bright, all that positive, turn it to positive. That is the point of you taking over. You being accountable. You um, self-accountability, reflecting, self-reflection, you know, all of that stuff. Okay? Wyoming could be very significant. Someone with braids or twist. Someone with short hair. Someone feels as though their lack of knowledge is what caused them to make poor decisions here. Or this is someone's lack of knowledge is what's causing them. They didn't, they didn't understand that that was their gift. That's why they out here making poor ass decisions. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, somebody need to tie up some loose ends here. Be grateful for your psychic abilities. I told y'all somebody was this motherfucking high priestess. Okay, what else? What's going on for you're on the right path? Wow, you're on the correct path. Once again, as I'm saying it, the fucking card is falling out of my hands. You're on the right fucking path here. Okay, so I guess I'm just about to go ahead and end it. Okay, something was a dirty offer. Dirty offer. Dirty offer. Dirty offer. Please clear and accurate messages pertaining to dirty offer. Yeah, look, she sees something within you, bro. She's just trying to wake it up. But see, somebody done figured out to ask that question. Are you going to wake up this sleeping fucking lion? Rainbows come with the storms. So it's always a brighter side of things. Always look at the brighter side. A trap king. Someone that's a street dude here. Was giving someone an offer. They couldn't, you know, they can't give you some. This is something that I'm learning. You know, people, if they're not <clears throat> trying to grow, they're not trying to heal. They're not trying to get on the fucking right path. Then, you know, those are the ones that's kind of creating the fucking storm if you really would like to just be a thousand with it. It's crazy how we be dealing with the bottom of the fucking barrel 
knowing good and damn good and damn well we deserve more than that, but still somehow be stuck with some fuck shit. But it's all right, because when the universe fuck with you, all you lost will be replaced times 10, tenfold, fame, the state of being well known by many. Okay? So all of this shit is going to be fucking replaced. Somebody a dope head stuck in high school days. Or they could be dealing with adult head that they knew in high school. I said somebody that was uh, from their past. I just seen someone with a piercing on their face. Doesn't necessarily have to be. But definitely um, stuck in high school, even if it's not someone from high school days. It's just on that childish ass energy. All that low vibrating shit. That poor decisions. All that. Look. I miss you, beautiful. Child, you can be the most beautiful gem, but in the hands of someone who doesn't value gems, they don't even understand the value of a fucking gem. Lesson known, what the fuck to do with it? You can manifest so fucking much with a crystal, but then you put it in the motherfucking hand, they just throw shit in the yard. Like, fuck that shit. Like, bitch, are you dumb or are you stupid? You could have did so many different things with that fucking crystal. You know, that type of shit. Okay? You know you're at peace when you no longer see rejection as a bad thing. It's just a way to get closer to finding your real person. Okay? Someone's a mother hustler. Someone's a parent here, and they're going to get it regardless. Okay, again, divine timing, the universe working in your favor, what is for you will always be for you. You don't need strength to let that shit go. Jealous woman. A black male trying to find balance throughout the ups and downs. I told y'all. Juggling life and money. Someone's transferring money. Someone's... I feel like somebody's losing more than they're profiting. This masculine is. West Virginia. Be still and sit in meditation position. A business meeting. Some of you guys could be going to a business meeting here. Or to some sort of gathering, socializing, engagement. A party. Yeah, look, it's going to hurt like hell, but I got to let you go. I feel like somebody could be hanging out with their friends here. These could be friends from fucking high school days. It was more than one person is what I just seen. Okay, so definitely don't nobody get time for this shit, bitch. If you got married, you need to sit your fucking face the fuck down. Yeah, look at that. Heartbroken, betrayal, separation, grief, sorrow. Energies are real and your body can sense them. So always pay attention. What are you doing to me? Your energies are going to tell you. Just read the energies. Read the orb. Okay, what are you doing to me? You could have asked that person, like, you know, what are you trying to do? Like, what? <sighs> Struggle. I miss you, beautiful. Somebody young, wild, and free. South Dakota. Idaho. New beginnings.
Somebody could be trying to access your birth records. I just seen that twice. So pay attention to your body, to your energy, okay? Co-parenting difficulties. We don't talk like we used to, but I watch your page. So someone could be having difficulties with a co-parent here. Nothing that you say is good enough. If you guys are in Wisconsin here, there is a divine masculine that is going to invite you over. This person has short hair. Yeah. This man is friendly or this could be someone that you're friends with here. Yeah, period. Again, everything is going to work out for you. You never lack. You simply transition. The holder of the power. So, yeah. And why I was just talking about the Orishas, and here it is. That's why I said fucking Ogun. I knew it was something. <laughs> I knew it was something. Baby, listen, everything I say, I know what the fuck I be talking about. Okay, so somebody got some fake-ass friends around them. Shut up. Some bad changes. For these fake ass friends around you. Okay, what's going on? Bad changes. The eighth house represents your sins, your dark secrets, upheaval, changes, death, and regeneration here. So what is this bad changes? Family hired a hitman in order to get life insurance money. Now bad changes, like bad shit is happening to them. W. Because the contract is denied, they're not able to. So, yeah, somebody do got some dark ass secrets. Okay. Someone could be a rape victim here. You're needing to take a spiritual bath. You will soon be getting the help that you need. Yeah, see a very pious person. Demanding. A stoner. Cancer. I was set up by my friends that's jealous of me. So someone could have been So there is a cancer child here that was set up by their friends. It could have been set up with weed by their friends. Someone was raped as a child here. If this isn't your friends, I don't know. I don't like it, though. Just pray for the haters. Spirit said, just pray for them. Yeah, see? Past influences, childhood issues, childhood abuse. And, wow, parents, they're selfish as fuck. Lord, so somebody could have been in adoption here because they were raped as a child.
somebody could have like childhood memories here. Um, I said it was a fucking water sign. I said that shit. The King of Cups and the Queen of Cups is out here. The Empress and the Emperor. So this very well could be a Cancer Masculine. That's selfish as fuck. This person could be a stoner. That's demanding something. I don't know. Y'all got to take it however this could be, you know, whatever this is. Okay, your efforts haven't gone unnoticed here. Spirit wants you to know that. If you have blue eyes, it is telling you to use your authority. You have the power to manifest no more evil on earth. It's work. Wow, it's working. You just don't see the results yet. South Carolina. Oh my jeez. <sighs> yeah, someone needs to learn how to communicate and release their baggage because all these tricks and rabbits that they pulling out the out the hat, it ain't working. Okay, yeah, somebody, this female got a piercing on her face. There's a female that got a piercing on her face somewhere. Mexican. Yeah, see, don't attempt to fix a relationship with your parents if it's still toxic. Especially if you have went through all of that shit that I just said. Okay. Wow. Look at this. So how about someone's career or someone's public standing? How the world views someone here with this 10th house is someone who is saying positive affirmation. Someone who's manifesting here. But someone's definitely a single mom. Or someone is a mom here that's very independent. And they are like manifesting some shit. Yeah, look, business coming soon. And then beauty salon. R literally pulling the rabbit out of the tricks. Like out of the hat, out of the bag. A magic show. Somebody could do fucking magic here. But I feel like this is a good, especially if it's a film. Okay, a beauty salon. Yes, look, somebody's child is involved. I'm definitely getting someone's child here with this, this minor. An affirmation. Okay, an affirmation for you guys in order to close this out is I am in the timeline of my highest good, my deepest desires, and my greatest fulfillment with love, light, peace, healing, and abundant soul. Spirit, lead me where trust is without borders. Allow me the strength to stay in the fight until the final round. There's hope inside of you. Okay, brave, the overcomer is the song. 444, indicating the chosen one. I feel like somebody could be meeting someone new here. Lock me in. So somebody could be getting someone's number. Okay. And then it says love is when you give someone your heart knowing that you fucked up. Major nine. What's love? What's love? Love is when you give a bitch your heart knowing that it's breaking. Yeah. Yeah. Knowing that you have nothing to pour into this next person because you have nothing. But someone is going to be surprised here if they try something new. You just have to get out of this survival mode. Again, bills paid on time. Like shit is coming through. Divine timing. You don't even have to be in survival mode. You just got to manifest that shit. Someone's cancer 
is a um a rude motherfucker. This is their ex here. Someone can have a secret admirer in New York. I said I was about to close this. Okay, we got New Mexico here. Pop pills, never again. So, yeah, somebody definitely was doing some shit. Doing too motherfucking much, if you ask me. We got Louisiana, believing yourself more than anyone else will. Visualize your desired outcome. Winter time. Wow. Everything that's... Bro, I'm in here. Love y'all.